this year. You know, at the beginning of the year, we saw prices continue to, to increase in Q1, and um, we did a lot of scratching our heads going, who's, who's buying at this basis? Because we couldn't get anything to pencil. Um, albeit we're probably a little more conservative on the debt than a lot of other operators, um, but we weren't even getting close. Uh, so we spent most of the year just looking at more deals than we ever had, underwriting a lot of deals, putting a lot of bids in there, not getting close. And finally, Q3, we, we started to see prices come down, cap rates started to expand, um, and we've seen a little bit more of that. Conservative on debt, what kind of debt are you guys? do you guys uh, buy? So right now we're doing exclusively just fixed rate agency debt. Um, you know, we, a year ago we were doing bridge debt, but we were buying very aggressive uh, interest rate caps at the time. Um, but now you can't even afford to, to buy those caps. Yeah, exactly. Um, and so what, 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 you, what rate are you buying at now? Um, this, this one we got locked in at, uh, is it 4.64? That's, that's um, pretty good. Which is, yeah, I mean, cheaper than what you could get today. We locked it 60 days ago. Um, but yeah, that, that's really the, the market today. Um, the other advantage is just size. Um, we tend to do larger deals. So this, this property, you know, it's a $60 million transaction. So our loan size is pretty large, which allows us to get a little more attractive rate in terms. So man, taking down a sixty million dollar deal, how much is the raise on that? Um, it's a pretty low leverage environment right now, so that's a twenty one and a half million dollar raise. Got it. And how, how far along? Are, well, have you? I, I guess you don't start until, or, or are, have you started the raise? Yeah, no, we're we're done. Okay, you're done, man. Good, good work. Jeez, that's impressive. And then what year, what's the vintage on that property and how many units? Uh, it's 243, um, 1988 vintage. Got it. And uh, what's the CapEx? You know, what's the, what's the, the, the plan? Very similar to, you know, what we've executed on our other properties, mostly focused on, you know, interior upgrades that are most meaningful to the tenant base. Um, so granite countertops, tile backsplash, lighting, paint. Um, and some flooring, and then a little bit of amenities improvement. We're going to add an outdoor kitchen, um, convert a laundry room into a fitness facility. Do you, um, what's the process for you in terms of how you, you know, how, how do you choose who's going to do these renovations? And I guess coming from your background is uh, a, a builder who I assume you you're, would assume you're meticulous What's that process been like for you? Um, it's fairly involved. Uh, I mean, it really starts with, and this comes back to my experience on the building side, is, is, is being able to communicate an, an accurate scope of work um, in the request for proposals process. So you can go to a number of contractors and they understand exactly what you want them to deliver. Um, and, and I think that's where a lot of people struggle in, in renovations is that they're not able to communicate the expectation. So when things fall short of that expectation later, um, it's hard to pinpoint where things went wrong. 